It is the Morning Brew with friends. We have a really fun show today. From Theater Thursday, it's our friends from The Jungle Book. They're bringing us a performance this week. My buddy Kenny Chavis is in this morning. I love that. Uh, we have Adam Baca and Tom Sanford from Albuquerque the Magazine. Our friend Alex Paramo from The Rail Yards. We're going to talk all about all the great Rail Yard stuff fun on The Morning Brew with friends. that from back in the day. It's got a great groove, right, man? Right, it's seven in the morning. It's perfect to wake you up, right? <laughs> and we can also wake you up with the headlines that are brought to us by our friends in the Tony and Guy Hairdressing Academy. And this is this is interesting. Kenny, you've been in business for a long, long time in Knob Hill. You've had stores. You've done everything, right? Sure, sure. Right? And do you follow the, the federal interest rate? I know it's not the most exciting thing at seven in the morning. Oh, my partner does, but not me. Right. I, I, I'm so busy. Right. <laughs> it makes, it makes you know, you have to follow it when you're in business. You have to follow this stuff because it really does make a difference. The Fed's actually downgraded the economy wow. for the first time in a while now, a couple of years. Okay. And that means no interest rate hikes, mm, which, wonderful. which is very interesting. Yeah, yeah. And I uh, can't wait. We have our, our friends on Monday, uh, Greg Frost, and we can mm -hmm. talk to him about that. Okay. But for you guys in business, that means you know, lower interest rate loans, all of that stuff will continue. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you think that'll mean for Knob Hill? Uh, new growth, I hope. Right? Yeah. yeah. You Knob guys Hill's always it. growing. It's right. always changing every day. Right. Every, you know, every month something up comes up, a new right. restaurant or so forth. Right. Well, what is the latest thing up there that you guys are excited about? Uh, B2B is still strong in our oh, neighborhood. It's, absolutely. It brings in people from all over the, the bistro. city. The bistro. Yeah. Yeah. And their Sundays are great fun there because they have the, uh, uh, was it 10%, 20% of all of their profits go to a nonprofit? They do. It's they a great, do a it's cost, a fun little yeah. spot. Yeah. That's a fun little spot. This is sad though. This is one of those things. Santa Fe keeping it classy. This is amazing. The, uh, you heard that the, uh, woman named Carolyn Rodich from Santa Fe won the Boston Marathon a couple oh, weeks ago. Wow. Great. Right. But this was nuts. This is heartbreaking. She, uh, they had a parade for her on Sunday, and 200 people came out. It was a big deal, and her purse got stolen oh. at her own parade, her own oh. victory parade. Her purse That's got terrible. stolen. That's terrible, right? Yeah. Um, well, at least her face is all over every newspaper, so she has to prove her identity somewhere. She can say, "No, it's me." <laughs> okay. The uh, and then this is fun too. UNM football is going to be on national TV. It's been a couple of seasons since we've had some UNM games on ESPN on the big leagues, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, we're going to see them play Utah, Boise State, and Air Force on national busy. TV. I hope so. Yeah. You know, they got, you know, it seems like the, the team is back on track, the football team, so it should be fun to see them on the on the national <laughs> stage winning, at least maybe for once, you know, it'd be great. HD, fun. big screen. I think so. I hope so. <laughs> and then, you know, this is sad news for all of our friends in Santa Fe, uh, one of the great burger joints up there, uh, Burt's Burger Bowl. Do you, oh. Have you been to Burt's? No, I have no. not have been to heard Burt's Burger Bowl. It was... Where? Amazing, they're closing. Aww. And this was like, in, like here in Albuquerque, we have the frontier, we have the hurricanes, mm -hmm. we have, you know, all of those local places that you just go for that nice, big, sloppy hamburger. Comfort food. Right. And that was this for Santa Fe. Okay. And unfortunately, Bert's had to call it quits after mm. 60 years, man. And I think all of my Santa Fe friends are going to be devastated by this. <laughs> yes. And then, are you going to be watching the fight this weekend? Um, what day Mayweather. is it on? It's on Saturday. The mm, Pacquiao Mayweather fight. I'm gonna miss it. You're gonna miss it. I'm I'm trying to figure out a way to make it happen so I can't actually see it. I gotta figure out either a buddy, hint, hint, anybody out there who wants to invite me over to watch the fight, <laughs> because this is a uh, it, the pay per view is a ninety nine dollar pay per view this oh, year. Oh, that's expensive. Yeah. Right. It's a, yeah. actually a record breaking pay per view. Wow. And so I am better to, to find, find a friend. Better to find a friend or that bar that has the you know low cover to go yeah. see it at. Right. Um, and there's an interesting thing. The Albuquerque Journal did a poll on who was going to win. And uh, I don't know if I agree with this necessarily, but Pacquiao by decision was what most people said. Mayweather by decision was a close, was a pretty far second. Wow. I don't know. Mayweather's won the last two. So this should be interesting to watch. It's the last big fight, really. Wow. And you know nobody's watching the heavyweights anymore. There aren't any other big fighters right now. And this is it. This is it. And these guys are... They're getting to be our age. They're in their mid to late 30s mm -hmm. now. And mm -hmm. um, so I, I think it might be the last big one, at least for a long time. It should be exciting then. Yeah, right? Yeah. You know, Mayweather's been around Mayweather Jr. and his dad was a fighter. And Manny Pacquiao is just unbeatable and super quick. Uh -huh. So we'll see. I think they're both maybe too old to see a knockout, though. <laughs> I don't know if they have the knockout punch <laughs> left in them. But 
This year, uh, we're going to be celebrating Cinco de Mayo with you guys. Yes, we Although are. Although we're going to celebrate, what, Uno de Mayo, Dos de Mayo? Dos de Mayo. Dos de Mayo. Yes. Because Cinco de Mayo is what, <laughs> Monday or Tuesday? I think it's... Saturday, Sunday. Saturday, Saturday. We're yeah, do the, yeah. so the, the counting forward. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do all the counting forward. We'll be back in a couple of seconds on the morning brew with friends, and we'll figure out exactly when Cinco de Mayo <laughs> is. That way we can, you know, figure out when this Dos de Mayo show is, and we can see Kenny selling all of his, uh, his art. Just a couple of seconds on the morning brew with friends.